Howdy y'all, my name is Ray Laser and welcome to Geoland The Lost Time. The last time I said I was gonna go look for that magical pink flower, and now I know where it is. But first I opened that chest and fought an Octoral, and now we're gonna deal with this triangle here. Who needs 10 pieces of chocolate? I've been carrying around a bunch. There we go, we got our EXP and our gold. Alongside that, off screen I decided to go level up. And now we got an unused stat point and a skill which is called Omega. Now we're gonna go after the flower and the stat point. So Omega uses 90 FP I believe. And I think that would be necessary to beating the game. First we gotta take out this Trisky, so let's try out using the Neo Alpha attack. Which is exactly like the one we saw in the first game. If only it would hit. There we go. Not that much. But it'll definitely be useful later on. When we're fighting the final boss. Which I've already seen. Because I had a failed recording of it. But let's not worry about that. We have a Trisky to deal with here. Which is almost dead. Just ice tackle it one more time. And maybe one more time. <laughs> And missed, come on Svar. I know it's been a while, but you can't get rusty like that. And there we go, we found a silver ring. Next, we have 1700 gold and the magical unsee C ring. So we're going to put all our points on force rather than speed. So that'll be three stat points, which we put all three on. And that'll bring our force to 300, so we can use our new attack multiple times and with that let's wander off back home and go show that guard that silver ring shall we of course we have to engage with magic boxes still just run away from them I'm not really sure what else I did off screen I don't remember I know I had a failed recording when I attempted to kill Zaki and that failed miserably, so... At this point I really don't know what I'm recording, so that's really fantastic. Uh, let's put on the attack ring. Up here there's a quest that I won't be doing, which is... Bring me 10 rubies and you won't regret it. Unless I randomly find 7 more, I probably won't be doing it. Because rubies are really hard to find in this game. So we'll have to say no to that. And now we're gonna wander off into town. Teleport in. And we'll see Mr. Guard right here. Hello Guard, you'll need the Royal Silver Ring if you want to see the King. Well, there we go. You have the ring, you can go in. These guards don't really do anything, or do they? No, no they don't. Alright, well we're in the castle now. Hello, Mr. Guard. Since this morning, the axe statues have gone crazy. Please help us calm them down. Beating 15 of them should be enough. Alright, well, let's take a look at one of them. The Protector, level 27, 1700 health. That is... That is quite an amount. There's the human version of it. That does quite a bit of damage. Um... I guess we'll just ice stab our way through then. Now I'm probably going to be killing the rest of these off screen. And I plan on using all the FP and MP on him. I'll go back out and buy some FP and MP items afterwards though. So, we kill you. And that's one of 15. I will see you back shortly. Alright. I'm back. And we've killed all 15 protectors and got a level up at the same time. I'm just gonna put that on force and hopefully get 400 FP, which is the case. And the guard will give us 750 EXP and 80 gold. Now with us 400 gold in pocket, we're gonna go buy some more supplies. Because I sort of used pretty much all of them. So if you check here, I've used half of the vitamin F's and half chocolates. I think we'll still be fine, but just to make sure, 
I'm gonna do that by and then save up and we'll fight the final boss. Or hopefully we will. Now I'm gonna put on the sail ring. I'm gonna buy like 25 of these. And then we're gonna spend the rest on chocolate. Alright, don't know how to do math. We're good. Because we don't really use those vitamin M's very much, so I'll just hang on to those like that. Now we're gonna roll over, save our game at level 25, teleport back to the castle, put on the silver ring, walk through the front door, ignore him, go down this epic hallway, put on my attack ring, get fought by an axe, run away from it, and then we engage the final battle. So we were waiting for you. You got all the stones, right? Yes, I do, Yakov. Perfect. I'm sure the, gla the king will be glad to see your success. As promised, here's your reward. A thousand gold. Now, if you don't mind, I'll take those stones. The king is very purple. What's the meaning of this? What have you done to our king? Show yourself, demon. Meow. Bubbles. Let's just say those three stones, I will finally collide our worlds. But sadly, it's the end of the road for all of you. Medu Shadow! And we finally walk outside of the pixel way. And then we can finally, finally fight Zaki. Look at all this. It doesn't matter. Since you can't stop me from realizing the prophecy in three minutes. Want to try to stop me? Go ahead. And here we go. The most epic boss fight. We only got three minutes, we're fighting a buffed up Zaki. So we gotta act quick. Fast mouse movements. Also, halfway through, he magically heals himself. So, we're gonna have to move this real quick. And hopefully, we'll be able to gain on our FP back really fast. So, let's just do that. Awesome. So, we got two more attacks right away. Except. We keep missing, and that's not a very good thing. There we go, we got a critical. That's pretty good. Although, we still need to move really, really fast. And we still keep missing, which is really unfortunate. Really. <laughs> Alright, so... This is clearly not going very well. I'll just use another vitamin. We'll deal with our help once he fully heals himself, which will be very shortly. That's an alarm bell on a dog. Oh fuck you, game! I'm not stopping. Hehe, <laughs> you won't get rid of me that easily. And then he full heals himself, and that—that's annoying. But we still have a good 220 seconds to spare, so hopefully we'll be able to kill him in time, and hopefully my dog will stop barking. <laughs> wow. Isn't that great? I got a co-commentator now. Really sweet. Awesome. Keep up the good work, dog. Dog commentates. Shoutcasting over the battle between Svar and Zaki. Five levels ahead. Svar don't give a shit. He's still diving. Still swinging. Can I use boost? Not yet. Soon. Ow. Come on. Alright, forget it. Eh, FP. No, we are cutting it close. Hopefully we don't die. Please don't kill me! Alright, please let me use boost now. What is boost for? 8% of your health? Fuck it, fuck it. Nope, nope. Put on the chocolate. He's regenning health. He's healing 7 at a time. You have to move fast. Now we'll use our FP. That gives us two, which is hopefully enough. I'm gonna use my chocolate, so I don't die. And hopefully these next two attacks will finish him. You know what, forget it, we'll use combo. Yeah, and we killed Zaki, fully healed, 750 AE, XP, and 100 extra gold. All three rocks break, what happened? What the? 
and I am teleported into the Nether region. I have never seen this before. I am the garden that unites both the Geo world and the human world. I am a rock. Now that the stones vanish away, the link between these two worlds are broken. But if history is set in stone, it won't vanish for a long time if someone remains alive. With the current strength you've shown, I decide to choose you as the portal guard and be able to do that with it. The power that has themselves is now impregnated into your body. Oh dear lord. I will send you back to Ireland City, now pregnant with three fucking other rocks. And the game has finished under nine hours. That has been a while. Uh, okay, we'll just save that then. And we get a little black star, just like he said. That's lovely. Well, <laughs> that's not exactly the end of our adventure. We still have this 10th ring collect. So in the next one, we will be doing the final secret 4th dungeon. Thanks for watching.